Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we're going to change the relay for the turn signal. Look like the turn signal are not working on my scooter, so we have to change the relay. 99.9% .9 the relay is not working, that's why your turn signal are not working. Now, the place where is the relay is right here. It's in front of the nose on the GY6. Now, to remove the relay, we have to remove those mirrors, the two mirrors on the side. There is one screw on the top, on the bottom of the nose, and we have four screws on the driver's side to remove the part right here, the cover, okay? So the relay cost about $10 on the web. Just so research relay for GY6 150cc, and it's a relay, three wire relay. Okay, this is the relay for 150 cc and is uh, a little, it's a small relay right here for 150 cc. As some number on the bottom, but 99.9% .9 those number, they never match. I don't know why, but it's like something, that's what the Chinese do. Okay, so you can see, look at the number underneath, uh, you can go research. This relay is about $10 on the web, okay? Just research relay for GY650 cc for turn signal, okay? So let's start to change the relay. Just remove one screw that is underneath right here on your scooter, underneath the nose. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to remove a long screw that is underneath your nose of your scooter. Okay, be very careful when you remove this screw right here underneath because it's a long screw and sometimes it can go inside the cover. So, with two fingers at the end, grab the screw. This is the now, screw. On this side right here, we only have one screw over here. We're going to have the two to remove the two mirrors, okay? And inside, we have four screw to remove the nose of your scooter. Okay, after you remove the front screw of the nose of your scooter, we need to remove the mirror. To remove the mirror, you're going to need an Allen wrench right here there is a number six Allen wrench, okay? Now make sure when you put the Allen wrench, you put it all the way down, because sometimes it doesn't go all the way down, so. Make sure to hold the mirror so it's not gonna break because those mirrors are made of plastic. If they break right here, you're gonna need a new mirror. So hold the mirror with one hand and the other one you unscrew with the Allen wrench number six, you unscrew this long screw that is inside here, okay? This is the long screw for your mirror, right here. Now be careful when you put it down, because there is a few wires attached to your mirror. Here we have three wires that are attached to your mirror, right here. We have one green one, one blue, one gray okay right here
Now make sure you slowly get them out from here. Now, the green has to go with the green. The blue, the, actually the gray, is going to go with the yellow. And there is another wire right here. So the blue is going to go with the other wire that is hiding for me. That is blue, okay? So you have a blue, green, and yellow, okay? There are three wires that you have on your right side of your scooter, okay? At this point, we are going to go to the left side of your scooter to the other mirror right there, okay? At this point, we can move, remove the, the left side mirror, okay? You're going to need an Allen wrench. This is a number six Allen wrench, okay? Now, with your left hand, hold the mirror in a way it's not going to bend and it's not going to break the plastic, okay? And with the right hand, use the Allen wrench to remove the screw. Now, on your left side of the scooter, we have a yellow, a gray, and a green, okay? Slowly, let them come out to the connections. So, we can see that the gray is connected with a yellow wire. So, the gray is connected with a yellow wire. The green is connected with a green wire and the yellow wire is connected with an orangey, orange color wire, okay? Okay, what I want you to see that is on the left side, the gray wire is connected to the yellow wire. The green wire is connected to the green wire. The yellow wire is connected to the orange wire on your left side of your mirror those are all the connection for the turn signal on your scooter on your mirror on the mirror side okay okay at this point is lonely just disconnect the wires okay and fold your mirror just to make sure it's not gonna fall down Okay, right, we have to we remove this mirror. We can remove these two screws right here. Okay, on the top. You're, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, those are little screws. Uh, that they go on the top of the nose of your scooter, okay? Put them on the side so that you don't lose them. At this point, we're going to have two screw underneath the nose of the scooter on the driver's side, okay? We have one here on the right side and one here on the left side. I want you to be careful because these screws are slightly bigger than the one on the top. So if you put this one on the top, you're going to break the plastic. So put this one on the side to remember where they go. Okay, these ones are the lower part of the nose on the driver's side. At this point, you're gonna start to feel the nose slightly moving, but don't be too excited. We are not finished yet, okay?
on the left side of the scooter, right here next to your brake, you have a little cover to remove, okay? You have a screw on the top and a screw on the bottom. Okay, be gentle, be nice, because everything here is made of plastic. Here we are, this is the cover that is on the left side of the scooter, okay? We're gonna try to just remove the left side and not the right side. Let's see if we can do that, okay? Eliminate some extra work. Okay, let's place something right here, like a towel or something right here. And we can start to wiggle this cover out, okay? Remove it and just leave it right here for now, okay? After we open this area right here, you can see that here we have the little relay. And it has three wire and it stays right here in position, okay? Very easy to remove, just right there. This relay get connected with this one, with this little connection right here, that you just press down and pull out, okay? So just press down. That's it. This one, this also smells like burning. So this, is the old relay okay that's what are the letter that are underneath this relay but usually they don't match with other ones so I can show you but those are the letter that are on the bottom of the old relay for the turn signal signal okay this one is a relay for a 150 cc scooter GY6 okay I have the new relay that I just bought and uh, it costs about $10 the new relay, okay? Not a lot of money, but a little bit of work to rechange the relay, okay? To... Come here. And right here we have the new relay for the 150cc scooter, okay? You have three wire, you have a little connection, and we just place it where the old one was, okay? And that's it. Make sure the wires are straight so they don't get cut from anything. They have kind of like a free room right here, okay? Now, before you reconnect everything and you close everything, make sure that your traffic signal, they're working, okay? So you turn on your scooter and you see if your left and right signal are working. Okay, at this point that we change the relay for the turn the signal, we can close again the nose, make sure you have the wire on the right side and on the left side, those are the wires for your turn signal at the mirror, okay? So let's place the one right here on the left, inside the hole right here. place these ones on the other hole.
Okay, what do you, what uh... Okay, make sure you do this job nice and gently because this part right here, everything is made of plastic. So if you're kind of rough into it, it's gonna break, okay? You got the feeling now that this is kind of in the right way. And you can start to place the screw on the driver's side and the screw on the bottom, okay? Okay, let's place the screw right here on the top of your nose. Remember, the screw there on top of your nose, they're slightly smaller than the screw there underneath, okay? You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Be gentle, don't tighten it too much, because all this is made of plastic. Thank you to China. Okay, Phillips screwdriver. Take a small screw and place it right on the top of the nose of your scooter. Don't tighten it too much. Just tight enough, okay? If you tighten it too much, especially if you tighten it with a driller or with some kind of electrical thing, you might break the plastic, okay? At this point, we're going to place the two screw underneath, okay? There's one on the left side and one on the right side. After you place the screw on the left side, you have a screw on the right side of the scooter. Okay, at this point we can place the little cover back in its location right here, okay? Make sure you're gentle and make sure the plastic match, okay? It's nice and flat with the other plastic, okay? You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver for one screw over here and one screw underneath. Now these two screws, they are the same, same size, okay? One on the top, and one on the bottom. Okay, at this time, it's time to place the long screw underneath your nose, back in its location, underneath here. This screw is slightly challenging, okay? So 
Looked like this time I got lucky. He went inside and he's, uh, he's tidy now. Okay, at this point, we just placed the screw underneath. We can replace the mirror now. We can put them back, okay? Okay, at this point, we're gonna put back the mirror. And remember, you have three wires for the turn signal on your mirror, okay? You have a green one that you have to connect it with the green one right here. You have uh, a yellow one. That you're going to connect it to the orange wire. And you have the gray that you're gonna connect it to the yellow wire, okay? Now, place these wires inside. Make sure they don't get pinched from the screw when you're going to unscrew, place the screw, okay? Because if they get pinched, you're gonna have a short and you, your, your screw is not gonna start, okay? Now, this is the long screw for your mirror you're going to need an allen wrench that is number six i i have a little spacer right here Okay, make sure you tight the mirror, pretty good, but not too much, because this is plastic, this is plastic, this is plastic, everything is plastic, so everything can break. Okay, next we are going to go on the right side of your scooter, and we're gonna place the other mirror, okay, and the wiring. Okay, at this point we can put back uh, the mirror on your right side of your scooter. We have three wires. One is the green one, one is the blue, and one is the yellow. Okay, starting from the green, green to green. Okay. We're gonna put it on the blue, blue on blue. The wire, make sure they're nice and tight, okay? Put them inside a nice way, the connection. Now we're gonna have the gray that is gonna be connected to the yellow, okay? Now gently, after you connect this one, push them inside, one by one, okay? You push them inside. You have to be a little patient because sometimes they don't go right away, okay? Now, you have to stay away from the screw because if you are too close to the screw, the screw might pinch the wire, okay? So it's very important that you stay away from the screw. Okay. Be gentle, be nice, set them in the nice way, and make sure when you put down your mirror, 
they're not going to be squeezed by the screw okay okay right after you place all the wire inside you can place the screw right here that's a long screw for your mirror for this screw you're gonna need another wrench that is a number six okay and guess what we're almost done you just screw this screw in and uh, you just change a relay for your turn signal okay I know it takes a little time but you can save some money maybe if you go to the mechanic this one will cost you sixty dollar you know if you do it yourself it will cost you ten dollar so you know take your time change have fun change the part of your scooter again make sure you tight the mirror pretty good but don't tighten them too much if you tighten it too much this is plastic is going to break okay okay we just changed the relay on your scooter for your turn signal that is right inside here I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching have a great day